Hey Nintendo fans, I'm Jay Witz, and welcome to Weekly Nintendo News, where apparently kicking things for a living isn't enough to get you a spot on Japan's national soccer team mascot roster. In soccer news, or football if you live anywhere but America, Pokemon has teamed up with Adidas of Japan to create one of the greatest video game sports mashups of all time. Pikachu is officially the mascot for Japan's 2014 FIFA World Cup, and that is kind of cool. Aside from simply being a physical mascot, Adidas has also released a promotional image showing some cast of Pokemon characters, both from Kanto and Kalos, donning the official Japanese jerseys. Now, I've said it in past episodes before, Pokemon made it one of their main goals to license their characters in other places, and this could be huge. The World Cup is one of the most watched sporting events of all time, uh, even more than the Olympics, and it makes sense. Soccer, or football, is one of the most popular sports in the world, so to see one of the most popular games of the world teaming up with it should only mean good in spreading the name for Pokemon. It was a pretty Pokemon news-heavy week, and we move on to Smash Bros. news, where Sakurai has announced that Lumio City is officially one of the stages for the 3DS version of the upcoming Smash Bros. Now, a lot of the times, even I forget, this game is coming out on two separate consoles, and one of the things Sakurai said in the past is he wants the Wii U game to have some of the more console-oriented games and stages, whereas on the 3DS game, he wants some of the stages to represent some of the handheld games. We only get a far-out shot like this, so I'm still not 100% sure how the actual stage works, but according to Sakurai, the battles will take place on top of the tower, so can't wait for that. And finally, to wrap up all this Pokemon news is an anime announcement. A spin-off special by the title of Strongest Mega Evolution Act 1 will be airing in early April in Japan, and it seems to feature an entirely new protagonist by the name of Alan. Now, the entire series is going to focus on Mega Evolutions, it's going to have an appearance by the Elite Four member Seabold, and altogether, I'm pretty excited to see that Pokémon is doing more stuff that doesn't just revolve around Ash Ketchum. In an interview with official Nintendo Magazine, Phoenix Wright mastermind Shu Takumi announced that he thought Phoenix Wright's story should have ended after the original trilogy. Now, I even said this in a past episode, I believe the original trilogy to be much stronger than both games 4 and 5 in this series, but it is interesting to note that Takumi has said he is working on the next Phoenix Wright game to be released. And finally, to close things out for today, the streak continues! Last week, I talked about how every time I talk about a Japanese game that I hope gets an English release date soon, it gets an English release date. One of the games I talked about last week was Azure Striker Gunfold, which got a release date in Japan sometime over the summer in the 3DS eShop, but nothing for outside territories. Thankfully, very shortly after I made last week's video, we got the announcement. Azure Striker Gunvolt will be on the 3DS eShop in North America over the summer, and possibly in European territories, but a little bit later because they would make the plans to translate it into several different languages. So the streak continues. That said, I'm still holding out on a localization date for the new Harvest Moon game that's doing pretty well in Japan, so we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, is there a Nintendo game that's in Japan that you wish was localized into other regions? Let me know, and we will see if this random magic streak can continue. Thank you guys, as always, for watching Weekly Nintendo News. You can click this button right here to subscribe, get announcements when my new videos are coming out, and I will see you with more news next week.